Hey guys, what's up? It's Coco Stone with Something About Dota, and today we're going to talk about EEL and uh, IXDL. So, what got me into it was actually uh, speaking with Max. So Max is one of my friends from the times of TDA that I haven't played with in a while, and I played with him uh, recently. In case you don't know what TDA means, it is Team Dota All-Stars. So it's basically the team and the website that IceFrog, um, I'd say, build around him in order to release Warcraft 3 Dota. So it was... The the main two admins were Pendragon and Icefrog, and there was the team, the beta, the beta taste, the, the, the beta testers, it's early morning, the beta testers uh, that helped Icefrog, and a lot of people, and we had the forums there, and then Pendragon, um, which was the guy who owned the site. It was Icefrog, the creator of the map, the creator of the game, pretty much. They got the main guy who was developing it, and it was Pendragon, the owner of the website, and we had all the forums there. It was called Dota All-Stars, and then Pendragon pretty much went to work for League of Legends, and then pretty much shut down the site. He said, screw Dota! I'm gonna do League of Legends, and um, that's why pretty much everyone from TDA from the old times kind of hate the guy, because he's an asshole, because he took away all our, in, our entire community. Instead of giving it to someone else, giving the forums to someone else, um, the, the website basically because so many people were involved in it he just said screw this bye and shut down the website and everybody got really really pissed off and rightfully so and that's why he's a horrible horrible person um, I'm getting completely sidetracked here aren't I yes I am so TDA Max is one of my friends from TDA times uh, that I've actually managed to kind of keep in contact with Onan is another one Onan is the, the uh, co-caster they usually co-cast with that I uh, usually cast with and Max is another one of my friends, I haven't played with him in a while, and I played with him, and we talked about casting and stuff like that. He also kind of tries to, to get into casting and things like that. And he said, dude, why don't you... We were talking about how it's very difficult to get into casting, and he said, why won't you just talk to Ike's Mike and ask him to, to cast Eel? I was like, what the hell is Eel? <laughs> it's the European Elite League, and there's actually an in-game ticket, and... Wait, what, what, wait, what is it? What? Okay, so basically he told me, go take a look at IXDL. Now, I knew IXDL exists, but I didn't really know what IXDL was. And that made me just go and check out what IXDL is. So, IXDL is something that Ike's Mike made. And you can look at it by the name. It's IX, which is I Ike's Mike's thing. IX, and then his name. IX Dota League. IXDL, right? So, it's called IXDL. It's an in-house league that has its own client that Ike's Mike actually created. Uh, he's a coder. He's a programmer, so he knows how to do that. So he made a client that's pretty much completely independent of Dota. So you download the client and it has nothing to do with Dota specifically. It's basically just logistics. So it just connects people and makes sure that you're, you have enough people for the game and then the people whatever the client says, they need to actually implement it in the game. So it uh, connects these five and these five after they, the, the game is ready to be played, and then it tells you this is the password, and then someone needs to create the password, uh, the passworded game. There's no bots that actually work within Dota. So that's basically what the, um, the, what the client does, which is really nice to you know keep track of when someone wins, they report it and keep track of uh, the ladder and of points and stuff like that. There's obviously a point system as it is a league with the ladder. And it works. It works and it's really nice. And he started an open one, which is easier to get into. You, need, you still need a vouch. There's a whole vouch system uh, when people allow other people to play. But there's an open league and there's also the um, professional league for North America because Xmec is from North America. And now they're starting out with the European. So it's EEL, the European Elite League. And uh, I just talked to Alex Mike, and I want to stop here and just make sure you you know something. Alex Mike is the nicest guy in the universe. Holy crap! It's almost obscene how nice that guy is because he he just I'm basically nobody, right? He doesn't know who I am. Not that I'm anyone big. I'm just saying I'm 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 a random person. And I just came up to him, hey, can kick. Can cast? He's like, yeah, sure. I told him, um, yeah, I don't really know how IXDL works. Um, I don't really know. And then he just sat with me on Skype, and for about 30 minutes, he explained everything there was to explain to me. And I'm a random person, and he just sat down and explained stuff to me for 30 minutes. 
is so nice. It's almost obscene the amount he, of, of nicety that comes out of this person. So if you're watching X Mike, he isn't. But if you're watching, you're awesome. You're raw. You're really like the nicest person ever. So thank you. Seriously, thank you. Um, and now I know how to work with with a client that isn't difficult, right? I just didn't know how to do it. I just wasn't really sure of what's up, which is stupid of me. But hey. I know how to work with the client, and I've uh, had a chance to cash for the last two days with Max, which was nice. It was an interesting experience, and we had, what I'm really trying to say here is, man, those games were good. I missed high-level, such high-level games in a sort of pub, pub kind of way, because these aren't teams. These are just people who want to join in, and they're thrown into teams, basically, and then they just play. And there's interesting strategies coming out, and really great games, and amazing turnarounds, and it's, it's really good. It's really, really good. I haven't seen in-house games in such a long time, and this is an in-house league, and it's serious. Okay, it's the European Elite League, and there's really good people in there playing incredible games that I've, I've had the, the, the chance to cast, which is great. This thing is actually running 24-7, pretty much, which means I can cast every night, which is great. Also means that I'm not really going to play, and I'm not going to have a lot of matchmaking on my on my uh, Twitch, because there's no reason for me to do matchmaking, because I can cast, and my matchmaking is kind of boring and stupid, because I'm terrible, right? And it's just nobody is interested in that, but casting eel games... And also, my Twitch is connected to drops, which means you can just jump in and watch, but not really watch, just minimize it. You're getting items, right? That's what most people do, I'm assuming. But still, we get the viewers, it's interesting to watch, and it's it's cool, and it's really, really great games, and I'm going to start doing it whenever I can, whenever I have a little bit of time. I'm going to cast some stuff, maybe solo, maybe with Max, maybe even Onan will join me. It's, it's awesome. I'm enjoying it. So that's the story. That's the story from the site of what, what started EEL. That's it. I am, uh, yes. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Probably this, this evening when we do more EEL. More EEL, as Max calls it. EEL. Thanks for watching.